Oh man, I am so excited to bring you today's adventure. It's both unique and fun. So wait no more. Let's pull the doors, drop the top, and go have some fun. We are in Mount Dora, Florida for a two hour cat boat water tour, a lake tour. Yes, it's gonna be awesome. Are you excited to be in the water with me? Um, I it, wish I had my own boat. <laughs> it's not a canoe, we're safe. As long as it's not a canoe, we'll be all right. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> we're in store for a lot of fun today. Let me go tell you some more about it. We're not actually at our final destination just yet. We stopped off here by the lake, the port of Mount Dora, as this area is called. The really cool feature over here, check out this little mini lighthouse. That's pretty cool looking. Then of course we have Lake Dora in the background. That's one of the lakes we'll be exploring today. I believe it's Lake Dora, Lake Eustace, and a very famous canal that connects the two. Cat Boat Adventures is about 35 to 45 minutes away from the theme park areas. We are going to go on a two-hour narrated tour of the lakes here. Uh, the cost, about $160 to $170 per boat, depending on if you come on the weekend or the weekday. The weekday is a little cheaper. And this tour is going to take us through two lakes, Dora and Eustace, and we're going to check out the Dora Canal. Here is what a cat boat looks like. I think the top speed around 33 miles per hour. Pretty cool looking. And the way they operate is very unique. You use, I think your left hand is for steering and your right hand, there's a lever for your speed. So I, who's going to drive these, Nikki? Me or you? Not you? Nope. Not it? Not it. Oh, come on. I'll film. The max number of people they'll take out is 16. That means eight boats. I could imagine that's kind of like herding cat. <laughs> Having that many boats. We run <laughs> On a cat boat. <laughs> uh, so I switched over to my boating hat. Not quite as iconic as uh, the Skipper or Gilligan. Both had cool hats. But I want to make a special note for you guys. Um, the max weight for one person is 250 pounds. So I made it. Barely. Now the reason why I changed my hat guys, look at this, they have a little collection of hats that have flown off, they found in the water I guess. So I've got this little boat hat here, a bucket hat, that has a string on it. Left hand down, put it on the stick in the middle, put the right hand on the grip to the right. We're going to start with the left hand. The left hand is the steering wheel. The 30 horsepower motor behind you not only pushes the boat through the water, it turns the boat. So when it's straight up and down like it is right now, you're going straight ahead, but push it forward, push it forward. That's a right hand turn. Pull it back past center, left hand turn. The further forward you push it, the further back you pull it, the sharper the turn will be. If you get confused, there's even arrows on top of the steering box here in case you went to public schools. <laughs> mm -hmm. You yeah, never know. <laughs> All right, now we joke around a lot, but safety is important. It's like fifth or sixth on the list. I know it's in the top <laughs> 10. Safety's important. Let's get to the right hand then. Put your right hand on that grip. All right, now wrap your fingers around like this. Watch, wrap them around and feel how it squeezes up underneath. Oh yeah. When you squeeze up, push it forward till it clicks to the first position only. All right, leave it there. That is called the no wake zone speed. By law, that's the speed we have to use here in the marina and in the harbor. Well, once we get out of the harbor, you don't have to squeeze it anymore. Now just push it all the way forward. Push it, push it real good. Yeah, leave it there. <laughs> Ludicrous speed. <laughs> Leave it there now because there's a reason you signed a waiver. Mm -hmm. There's no brakes on these boats. So the way you stop these boats is you grab the throttle, bring it back to the upright and lock position, straight up and down. That's the brakes. If you're doing 25 miles an hour and you drop into neutral, the boat will come to a virtual stop, then coast a couple of boat lengths. Hey, yeah, the reverse in these boats is literally this fast. If you need reverse, guys, you need my help because oh, I boy. promise I'm never going to give you up. I'm never going to let you down. Don't run around. I won't desert you. <laughs> I'll be there for you. See, we're friends now, too. Is he Rick Rollin? You got Rick Rollin and friends. Yeah. <laughs> Put it back in the neutral position. All right. Now, there's one last thing on the throttle. There's a button by your thumb. When the motor's running, don't press that. That's the passenger ejection seat. <laughs> <laughs> 
Up, yes, yeah, so right up. Yeah, yeah. Actually, it's up. the motor trim. It's been down, locked, and trimmed. You don't have to worry about it. There we go. Captain Rick. So the Captain Ron? Yeah. We get lost, we just pull over and ask for directions. Ask for directions. So if we get lost, just gotta pull in somewheres and ask directions. Well, I'm feeling good about this, but I understand, Nikki, if you're a little nervous. I have a little trepidation with you in control of a boat again. <sighs> It's you and me on the water. What could go wrong? I have my lucky hat on. Oh, it's gonna be me. fun. It's gonna be help fun. Me. Okay, we're gonna start here on Lake Dora, almost divided into two. We would call this first section Little Dora, and then over there we're gonna go to Big Dora, and then Lake Eustace and the canal. Here we go. Get some gas. And yeah, I'm already getting wet. Oh, my pants are wet. <laughs> Plain wacky history in this area. Some of it actually changed the world, and it all starts with that house. Really? Yes. You're not going to believe the story on this house here, because the guy who built this house originally invented something so amazing, so revolutionary, and so very, very tasty. In fact, until he helped invent it, it never even existed. His name was David C. Baker. He was a former professor at Cornell University, but his big claim to fame is this. He helped invent the machinery and the processes that make the Chicken McNugget. Are you serious? Ba -ba -ba -ba. You know you're loving it. Yeah. <laughs> so Little Dora was a little more choppy. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, so while along, if we can stay along the shoreline now, behind the wind, out of the wind, it's getting nice and calm now. Nice. We're going to go this way. We're going to way to our next stop, which is the city of Tavares. Tavares. Look at the shoreline, you can see why they call it America Seaplane City. Seaplane? Right. Got all the seaplanes all there. That seaplane base is very active. Cool. There's over five to ten seaplanes flying in out of here every day. On the weekends, it gets even crazier. The last weekend of every March, they have what's called Seaplane of Palooza. There's over a hundred seaplanes flying in and out of here. Oh, wow. All shapes, there, sizes, and colors. Are there any rentals? Like, will they take people That's up? That's a tour right there. The two planes there, the blue one and the yellow one, oh. are part of a tour called Jones Brother Aviation. Oh, you can actually nice. go out on a seaplane tour. There's 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and one hour tours. Check out the ferry boat over there. <laughs> and then on to the Dora Canal. Hit it, Rick. shooting up at me because you're weighing that side of the boat down like it's coming up from this direction at me. Sure, blame the fat guy. <laughs> you're not fat. You're just way more than me. Woo! Oh, you see the water just shooting up at me? Like butter. <laughs> like butter, baby. I'm now, are you roll. like Captain Ron? If you get lost, you just pull over and ask for direction? Yeah, okay. pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I, I rarely get lost, though, because I would admit that I did something wrong. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't make mistakes. Well, here's the thing about me. I'm not always right, but I am never wrong. There you go. <laughs> oh, well, boy. Here we go. Now, I'm going to turn our boats because if you look off to the right there, you see the railroad trestle with the flag on top of it? That's the entrance to the Dora Canal. So get ready, kids. I'm going to be using the radios now exclusively through the canal. But we got to go single file. So. Gotcha. gotcha. Right. This is not the Jungle Cruise at Disney. I can't guarantee what you're going to see, but the odds are good. We'll see some alligators, turtles, birds, snakes, lions, tigers, bears, oh my! <laughs> Into the Dora Canal. You know, they shot some scenes, some outtakes of the African Queen here, and some Tarzan episodes were shot in this canal, like some outtakes, yeah. Really? Very cool information, Rick, who knew? Let me know now. All I need from you guys is a credit card. I can gas, beer, food, you know how bare necessity. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I'm rolling, you guys are doing This section of the canal is just beautiful. Yes. Like untouched Florida. natural beautiful like scenes you'll see in Florida that's true breathtaking oh. Oh, stunning I'll look back to the nice thing I pointed out to you but yeah they start coming up here the sun starts rising higher in the sky so you never know
this lake door, they're all part of a chain of lakes called the Harris Chain of Lakes. These lakes are all connected by canals and rivers, and there's as much fresh water in this whole lake system here, this whole chain, as Lake Okeechobee, which is the largest lake in Florida. Now, there's three big lakes in Florida. Okeechobee's the largest, and there's Lake George, and then there's Lake Apopka. We can actually get to Lake Apopka if we go south from here. Really? Yes, we can. Oh, wow. Now, like I said, these lakes are all connected. Um, the water here, even though it has this green tea coloring, it's actually very good and clean water. All the wa fish in these waters can be eaten. Uh, the reason I say it's clean is, well, the tannin that leap from these trees that are lining the waterways, they yeah. leach into the tree. The tannin leaches into the water and turns into this green, green tea color. But you can eat the fish here. There's good fish here. There's bass, tilapia, crappie, bluegill, speckled perch, three types of catfish, even clownfish. You ever have clownfish? No. They taste funny. No. <laughs> Now, if you decide to do this tour, and I do recommend it, remember, don't tip your boat, but do tip your tour guide. Canal, time to buckle up. <laughs> it's getting wet again. Get some speed going now. Oh no, here we go. It's choppy. <laughs> oh, back to the bounce, back to the splash. I can't tell if that's a male or a female. They're exactly alike. The only way, way you can tell the difference between a male and a female is if they're standing side by side. The female is always bigger. The fact in the bald eagle world, the female runs a show, just like in real life, right? That's right. Happy <laughs> spouse, happy house. Remember that. <laughs> right. 
Now, bald eagles, the following number state, Alaska has the largest population of bald eagles. Florida has the second largest population. Ah, uh, nice. Isn't that weird? The coldest state and the hottest yeah. state have the yeah, bald eagles. Yeah, wow. All right, kids, we're not done yet. We got more to go, more to see. Ready? Awesome. So you ready to go? Well, I've had about a pint of pike water today. <laughs> Long to sprint, sprint, sprint the water. But it's amazing. I love this one. I love this road trip. Favorite Britain. <laughs> there. They built this 40 years ago to connect the mainland off and then off to the left to Deer Island. 40 years ago this was open water. You could go from Lake Dora, 50 feet on the side of the water over there is Lake Beauclair. Now the water was only 8 to 12 inches deep so anything bigger than a kayak canoe can go across. Now to the right the mainland used to be nothing but cattle ranches 40 years ago. To this day Florida is still the second largest producer of beef in the country. Right behind Texas is Florida. Wow. You wouldn't think Florida and no. beef, but we are. Oh my gosh. Now, that was all cattle ranches off to the left. You see that island off there, that area, all those boathouses, that's Deer Island. 40 years ago, Deer Island was an actual island. Before this land bridge was here, it was an island. But there was nothing on it. Those houses aren't there, weren't there. There was nothing but cattle grazing and orange groves. Now it's multi-million dollar homes, a Jack Nicholas designed golf course, very high end. I don't live there. <laughs> yeah, but the cool thing is now it gets weird because the cattlemen 40 years ago used to get their cattle together and they'd drive them across this open water to go graze out in Deer Island. And if you would have been here 40 years ago watching this from here, you would swear the cattle were walking on water. So they actually got the nickname, the Jesus Cattle. No. My dad would catch the shrimp in the nuts. Land area there. Oh. Alright, we're all done with the tour. We're gonna head in. I'm so sad it's over. This was one of the most fun tours we've been on so far. Yeah, he really enjoyed himself. He is whooping it up. Captain Todd was amazing. He yes, total just trip. Um, very comical and um lighthearted, made yeah. it so much fun. This road trip, our water trip, boat trip, so much fun. Now we'll have some tips and stuff. We'll go on shore and then we'll share some more information and stuff with you. Uh, but I'm so sad it's over. Yep, me Super too. Oh it, was, it was a blast. I don't I, think I've laughed so hard in a long time. I would totally do this again. Yeah. What were you saying? I really like this. I like the cat boat. I like the water. I like the lake. I like. The this is just so much fun. Yeah, the canal was incredible too. Yeah. I thought, you know, I'm about crazy adventures and speed and stuff like that. Right. So I was looking forward to really getting this cat boat out and, you know, putting it to its test, going fast and everything. Right. Which was fun, but I think that canal piece was like my favorite part. Yeah, I think so too, honestly. I it, cannot, that was definitely my favorite part. I highly, highly recommend this adventure. Uh, I want to buy one of these. Yeah. Now, I, I did price these them. out. Did you really? Yeah. How much did they cost? Too pricey for me. <laughs> oh, no, really? Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, 13, 14, 15,000, somewhere around there. Oh, wow. They're a lot of fun, though. Yeah. Back on land? That's why I have my land hat on. <laughs> do you have your land legs back, honey? <laughs> I do. I do. It took me a second. I mean, they did warn you about that. Mm -hmm. But this was one of my favorite road trips one of the best tours i've ever been on and i'll say this about captain todd he is 100 percent the best tour guide i have ever had anywhere on any tour wow that's impressive mm -hmm. so very good it, I, he is extremely entertaining he hit i loved his puns his movie quotes he had it all yep it's like a version of me <laughs> <laughs> I'll say this now if you're gonna visit and you're gonna do this try to get Captain Todd definitely and as I said earlier I think you used it I don't know uh, don't tip your boat but tip your captain or your guide well all right now that we've actually experienced the adventure the cat boat adventure mm -hmm. do you have any tips for anyone um, I would say you're gonna get wet so wear clothes that are quick dry clothes 
Yes. Um, I didn't realize how splashy it would be in the choppy open lake area, yeah. right? Like the canal was so nice and smooth and classy yeah. and beautiful, but it can get choppy if it's kind of a, you that, know. That style boat, yes. Yes. It will get splashy. Now, if you go to their website, they do have a fax section which you did not share with me ahead of time thank you very much i did read it and it did say you would get wet yeah he did share that information i didn't me, think so. we would get that wet anything else uh no just be prepared for a fun adventure mm -hmm. really it, it it i mean from you know the music that he played he's playing the banjo scene from deliverance <laughs> Oh yeah, that's the one. To the stories that he told, to the quirky little things that, you know, show up along the way. Yeah, he did a good job explaining the history and things like that, and just like entertaining us yeah. with different music. <laughs> Tarzan yells. <laughs> He's playing elephant noises. <laughs> Uh, uh, Jungle Cruise references from Disney. Exactly. And the thing is, is that because you're on boats and, you know, even if you're in a big tour, he's got um, a radio system yes. that connects to the boat. Yeah. So then, you know, he's in constant contact with you, with everybody on the tour. Yeah. Yes, he is. Oh, guess a noisy bird. It's nature. <laughs> the other thing about wardrobe, mm -hmm. I would say hats. You have a ponytail. You didn't lose your hat. No. It's a good thing I had my sea hat on. Yes. With the little string. I would have lost this hat. Yes. And they have a whole like thing of hats hanging up in their little, uh, I'll call it an office area. <laughs> your check-in point. Of hats they've recovered. Yes. So, uh, you know, find my little boat hat thing. That's pretty fun. I look good in that too. It's my lucky hat. <laughs> Nothing ever bad happens in that hat. No, and the, I think I had, like, I was a little stressed out. Were you nervous about me? With you driving. Like, I have zero confidence in this man driving watercraft. I've been And on, being in a boat with him. I've been on this lake hundreds of times with my father. I mean, driving a boat, like, as a 10-year-old. I good. know. I, you would think that I would have 100% confidence in my husband of however many years. But no. Um, <laughs> I, I think I just, I have, you well, know, flashbacks of canoes. Yeah, canoes. That's, that's a, that's a non-motorized water vehicle. <laughs> I'm good, I'm very good with motorized vehicles. And the thing is, the more comfortable I get, like I got real comfortable with the little cat boat, you know, the more yeah, he's adventurous I get. Mm -hmm. And, and the more nervous to... you get. Right, he was skirt skirting, I'm like, no, no, you know, <laughs> so. Super fun, just like I said, um, like just driving around the boat, you know, with the splash. I found the water to be very refreshing. Now, how did you um, think about the uh, maneuverability of the boat and the drivability of someone who's oh, really never easy. done that type yeah. of boat before. I got used to it very easy okay. or very quickly. You know, your right hand controls how fast you go right? and then your left steers. You pull back to turn left, pull forward to go right. You get used to it pretty easy, right? pretty fast. Okay. Um, if you get confused, you just have a little spurt of speed. Like if you want to turn right and you <laughs> use the wrong lever, just have a little, little, little boost. Little turbo boost of speed. Oh, whoa, that's the wrong arm. <laughs> that happened once or twice, but I got used to it. Uh, you'll get used to it too if you try it. And come yeah. Up. Now there is a splash guard. That splash guard is not worth anything. It's that, very small. It's very small, and the water will still splash up in your face. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you're gonna come in the like in the off season and it's cooler, make sure you're wearing the correct clothing for the yeah, weather as yeah, well. Yeah, cooler. Yeah, yeah, you'll get cold. You got cold. I Oh, I was freezing. I was yeah. like shivering. I was so cold at one point. And that's with the high today of being at 81. Yeah. It was a yeah. little cooler because we're in here in the morning. They offer uh, the morning tour and afternoon tour, and they do have a sunset tour seasonally. Seasonally, yeah, depending on, you know, the time of year. We're in October, and... not doing it now, but like right. in the summer and stuff, they would have a sunset tour, which I hear is very good. I think we will do this again. I will bring my girls out, Caitlin and Courtney, and I guess their boyfriends, and we'll let them do it. Well, yeah. It was nice that we had like a private one. It was just uh, us. It was just us. Here on a Wednesday. That was amazing. Yeah, come in the middle of the week, you're more likely to get a private tour yeah, like that. Yeah. We just lucked or at out. at least a smaller one. Yes. We got so lucky with that yeah. aspect. Uh, but I do want to come back and let my girls experience this with their boyfriends. Yeah. Now, do we have anything else? Is that it? That's pretty much... That's pretty much it. Just as far as the road trip goes, this was amazing. 
It was really fun. And uh, I highly, I highly recommend this one. I uh, think of everything we've done so far, this has been like my favorite. Yeah. So, as always, adventures out there. You'll find it on a road trip. <laughs>